Okay, now that we're done with the barn, Rainy's all set, she got all her medicine. We're gonna give you a quick recap as to what's going on with... I'm gonna like Help you. me out, I don't know the name. Look all at that together look. now. Look at that look. Yeah, her. With Aerie. The look. Aerie. We're gonna give you a little update. So we're gonna sit you guys here and check lighting and things like that. So hold tight, please. Right there. Just stay there and don't move. Yeah, don't fall. Don't fall either. Yeah, that's good. They can stay there. Good lighting. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So, how to tube feed a baby goat. It's pretty much what it is. Guys, remember, first and foremost, we are an educational channel. So, if you don't want to watch this, uh, yeah, just unclick just, now. Yeah, just go like do some dishes. Yeah, laundry. Laundry, that type of stuff. So, um, so this it, isn't gonna hurt her though. So no, this, this doesn't hurt at all. No. Aerie was born with a detached lower jaw and a really severe overbite. So, so the she, jaw is actually not the the jaw itself isn't even fully formed. Right, it is not bones. Right, all the way through. Go ahead. It's like floating inside her mouth pretty much it's a wiggly tooth kind of like a wiggly tooth and she can't drink out of a bottle so our goal is to tube feed her until she gets strong enough to possibly drink on her own so every three hours throughout the middle of the night and everything she's getting tube fed uh, the tube goes in her nose and goes all the way down into her belly and then we give her milk from rainy right now She's inside a heated box. That's her box. Um, that she sleeps in, she even in her bed. She travels in it. <laughs> she travels in it, and she lives in the box and stays warm. Not closed like that. Not closed. We it's just did that. It's closed because yeah. it's cold out here. Because it's cold. I wanted to trap as much as I could. So she lives in the house because Rainy did reject her. She started grabbing her tail and throwing her. If you watch the birthing video, you might see one or two throws. Not birthing. Yeah, I think it she... didn't happen until Oh, it probably... Night. Yeah, it probably didn't happen that soon. So you might not see it in there, but... We Rainy knew the animal kingdom. Rainy knew that I don't. I, I need to focus on this baby, Free, Frito, Frio. I don't know. That's not my job. My job's to build things, Frio. not greenhouses. Frio. It means um, cold in cold. Spanish. There you go. So Rainy knew to focus on Frio and like in a, the way animals reject. Like I can't focus on you right now. Get away. So we had to bring her inside. And this is what we're doing. So we're going to show you. Uh, she's warming up the tube because when the tube's cold, it's harder to move. It. So we're just going to get to work. That's what's going to happen. Come here. Come here. Actually, you guys want to see her in the box? I'll show you her in the box. I don't know if there's any lighting over here, but there she is in her box. Nice and warm in there, huh? In her warm little box. Yep. Okay. I'm going to take her out, put you guys back over here, right there, that looks okay, that looks good. Um, yeah, come on big girl. Alright, so in order to tube feed, we have this syringe, it's 20 milliliters, and then we have this little baby tube that that's marked in inches, well, it's not really inches, oh, it's centimeters. <coughs> So, I said it earlier, she has this detached lower jaw and this severe overbite. The Another thing that's happening is there's a cleft palate inside there. So when she does try to drink from a bottle, it actually turns around and comes right out her nose. Well, what's happening with her saliva right now? Um, so, she drools a lot, but then you can see it also comes out her nose. So the hope is... I mean, the hope is that we can tube feed her long enough so she can gain enough, enough, uh, what's that called I'm looking for? Strength. Strength and know -how? almost know-how, right, to figure out how to work around all this. It's, yeah, with a defect like this, def though, I mean, I, th I think we're, we're putting all of our efforts into her, um, knowing what the end result will be but knowing that we gave it our best shot. We've got to so. give it 110%. Just oh, okay, come on, girl. We're going to give it a try. Okay. Wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. You ready? Yeah. This is no longer warm because it's so cold out here. 
<coughs> no, why are you blowing it? I got that edgy heat up. Okay. Okay, so, okay, your food's coming. Your food's coming. What I'm going to end up doing is you sort of measure, like, this is where her belly is, and then you're going to put the tube up to about there. We've been going to the 24, 25 centimeter line. This tube is marked. As I put it down her nose, I'm going to blow little puffs of air. There's holes at the bottom, like two little holes in the bottom of this. Just Ella, ignore, don't be jealous. Yep. I mean, the little puffs of air help open up her esophagus so that I can get the tube down it. I'm going to fill this first. So the milk is obviously warm. We just took it from Rainy. If you're using milk from your fridge, you got to reheat it to get no. it back to warm again. Don't use milk from your fridge. Right. You need to use goat milk or colostrum. Yeah, that's for what a I meant. Baby. Goat milk, yes. But if you took it like we take it from her and put it in the fridge for the overnight feed. Right, you got to warm it back up. You got to warm so it back I'm up. I'm going to go right, right down go the ahead. little nostril. And like she said, she's puffing a little bit of air to keep everything open as the tube makes it all the way down into her little belly. Doesn't hurt at all. We're at 14, we gotta get all the way to 24. So it's going a little longer. And she's getting close, 21. And 24, so now I will. All right. So I will hold it. Just, yeah. Just hold the tube. And I gotta then hold make the. Sure she can still breathe. You heard her. I gotta hold the tube and make sure she can still breathe, and I'm not closing off her uh, mouth and everything. So yeah, this is uh, just over 20 milliliters. It does. The syringe does not fit nicely. And you go kind of smooth. Very rel slow. Pretty slow. It might drip. Try not to put air in the belly, obviously. It comes right out though, as but, we learned. But the air will come out if you do. Don't get, don't freak out. Hey, we are not a vet. Remember, this is how we do, not how Literally to. Literally just, just learned yesterday. I'm gonna put a disclaimer in the, in the description below. Consult with your vet before tube feeding a goat. Yeah. And no, I'm not sticking up my middle finger at you guys. I needed to move it out of the way. <laughs> I just noticed that. Just <laughs> make sure she's good. She's, she's good. It's good. I just heard her belly go, which is a good thing. I heard it again. Okay, girl. That's good. That's good. We're going to get you a little more, too. Yep. Good job. Okay, one. I got it. I'm good. She's going to get a little more. Okay, one more. Like that. No, we, did, we were able to get two full ones. Yeah, 40 morning. would be a good feeding. It would be a good size, 40 cc's. Now, she'll notice... At some point, as she provi provides a little pressure on the back of that syringe, that eventually it'll get harder to push, and you don't you don't want to push anymore. Like you can almost feel as as okay. you're pushing this in, it comes in waves, like the muscle contractions of a. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey, hey. She's all right. You're squeezing her other nostril. Right no, now? she's good. She's wide open. Okay. She's fine. Yeah. Oh, I just heard her belly do it again. This is easier when you're awake. Funny things happen after coffee. Coffee, that could be this. Could be so I'm coffee. just starting to, yep. and I'm getting more drips, which more means drips. there's resistance on um, the tube itself. So I think we're going to try to squeeze this last three milliliters in, and then we'll be done. Yeah, you're good, mama. Good job. All right. So now the feeding it. is done. <clears throat> and then how you take this out is you literally do it as fast as possible. So we're just going to ready. So that, go. go. Good girl. Good um, girl. And so then in order to keep this clean, we run it through. She's got milk in her belly now. Way what? down here. Her so belly is full of milk. Okay, we're done teaching. Okay. What's <laughs> up? Oh, sorry. Next. Go ahead. Um, yeah. So we're going to clean this by running it through warm, soapy water. And um, yeah, re sterilize everything. Re sterilize everything. Can get it ready for another three hours from now. Yeah. Yep. Right, big girl? You want to stand up? Show them how you stand? Okay. Okay. Just for a little because it's cold. Yeah, Stella it's chilly. Oh, Stella's here. I forgot. Stella's here. Jelly Stelly. Jelly Stelly's got to go up there. Here, we'll put you in the sun. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that is not a good angle. Jeez. Go to the other side.
How you doing? Oh my gosh! Nice job. <laughs> I fell. I totally fell. Just when we thought we were looking like we know what we're doing. Oh, okay. she booped! <gasps> that whoa, was a good boop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was a good boop! <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my god! And we got that on film. Oh, she doesn't, Guys. she doesn't need an enema. Guys, we were about... Hang on. We were about to give her an enema because she hasn't been pooping. Oh, that was her first major... Major. <laughs> that was her first real poop. And as you know, we were all praying for poop, so... Are things are moving. <laughs> Live! Everybody got to see it. <laughs> Where is it? It's right there. It's down there somewhere. There it is. Poo. Poo. Right there. Poo. Poo poo. Good girl. Good job. Got a nice full belly too. She looks like it. Oh, Stella, God. stop it. I know, she's so bad. Oh, she's cold. Oh, she's not. Stella's not cold. Stella's Stella like, not cold. like overwhelmed yeah, with emotion. What? She's she like, did... another friend. Yeah, another friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right. I need to put you guys back up on the wall. She needs to get back in her warm little box. And then I need to clip this little highlight out for anybody else that needs to learn how to uh, two feed a baby and Stella needs to go to jail. So um, you guys are going up, put your helmets back on. We're going that way. We're going that way. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh my God. That really hurt. Oh, we need an easier way to get you guys up and down. 